Yo, what's good with y'all? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a tycoon, a basic tycoon and stuff. Yeah, before I get into the video, as always, I just want to remind you guys to have a Discord server. You guys can join the Discord server. Link is in the description, as well as to have a Roblox group. You guys can also join that. You can join the Discord server to suggest video ideas or just make general suggestions about like my channel or anything. You can join just to chill, talk with me or my other supporters and stuff. Um. And oh, lastly, you can join to also get like scripting support or anything, any help you need or whatever and stuff. Yeah, let me straight to the video. Okay, so I know what you guys are probably, you guys probably, well, if you watch my channel, you would know. Like, it's one of, usually I go through it with you guys, so it's like I'm kind of going through it with you and stuff. The only reason I already have it made and stuff is because one, the total amount of time it takes to do all this is, is about like 20 minutes, and that's just, and that's not including me making mistakes because like, like, I know how to do all this, but obviously I'm not perfect, nor am I, like, and stuff, because, like, I'm not perfect and stuff, so obviously I'm going to make mistakes, pretty much what I'm trying to say. Like, script, I might forget to do this and stuff like that, so I just thought it would be easier if I just do it, then just have it here, and then, you guys have seen, if, you, if you're if you one of my subscribers, you've noticed where, like, I do videos where I just go through it, which all stuff. So, okay, I know my might look a lot, we're going to go through every single thing, and I'm explaining to you how everything works, okay? So, first things first, you guys are going to make your claim here sign, right? So... Like, I'm just going to go in order and you guys just follow along the video. So, you want your claim here sign. When you walk up to it, you, uh, like, and then you touch it. As long as it's not claimed, you will claim, like, you'll be able to claim it and stuff, right? Wait. Oh, wait, that reminds me, actually. Hold on. Let me... I just thought about something. And then, script. Disable, true. Because then you don't want other people to try to come and claim it and stuff. But yeah, though. Anyway, okay, so you have your claim here thing, right? So, first things first, you guys want to get a part and then scale it so it's like pretty much like a sign, like how like how this part is, um, right? You could, I mean, if you want to, you could just use the same like measurements I have right there for size, up to you. Um, and then make sure you name this head, and then after you name it head, you want to insert a humanoid into it, right? And then in, in the humanoid, you want to change the display name to claim here, right? Or claim, whatever, what, like whatever your preference is. Then you want to insert a script into the head, which is the part. And you call it claim script. Then you want to do script.parent.touch, connect function, hit. If hit.parent, find first child humanoid, then, well, there's no point in me, there's no point in me like just repeating everything when you guys can obviously see it. I'll stay on the screen for a few seconds so you guys can take a picture or just have the time to type and stuff. But pretty much what this is, I'll just explain what this is doing. Okay, so as long as it's a humanoid, of course, right? Like it's trying to identify that it's an actual player rather than like another part trying to touch it or something like that, right? So it's going to change the display name to the player's name, right? Or actually, oh, actually we should add on to this. And then put a space here, and then do type, and then we'll do tycoon. Yeah. So it'll say player's name. You can just add that in. You don't have to, but you can add that in. So it'll say spyg 19 tycoon, for example. Then we're making the sign like half invisible. We're making it cancelize off so we can just easily walk through it. Then we want to switch the player's team to alpha tycoon. So it like switches, and you're on that team, and then just disable it. And then, yeah. So that's it. So that's what you guys want to do here right and then uh i feel like the best thing to do is to just like go through each one and stuff and just so like we can all just make sure everything is good because if you mess up one thing there's like keep in mind there's like four or five different scripts so it'd be hard so i suggest just checking every like checking every one thing when you finish it so let's check the sign what, what should happen is this it's just switch your team to whatever the team name you have right also ignore the cache and stuff like because keep in mind that was just me testing beforehand so ignore cache but yeah though as you can see, it says Spy G19's Tycoon, and it's invisible. I can walk through it, and yeah. Okay, so the Tycoon is claimed, right? Okay, now what we're going to get on to is making our dropper, right? So my dropper is here in server storage. So um, I'll just I'll bring it in workspace to show you guys what it looks like. This is what my dropper looks like, right? So I just have three parts. I call one, this is the base. That's where the parts come out of, and then that's the top, right? So that's that's my dropper, right? Once you make the dropper, make sure you group it and then uh, throw it in, uh, or not throw it, but put it in server storage and stuff so you can we can just clone it easily. And then inside of the part dropper script, you want to do while true do, you want to clone parts, which is the uh, the parts that come out of the dropper, right? And make sure you also make another part that comes out of the dropper and put that in server storage as well, right? That part is this. That's what, yeah, right here. 
that's what mine looks like but you guys can change it to whatever you want right so make sure you put both the part and the dropper dropper we'll call this dropper one in server storage right so you're gonna do while true do it'll clone the parts which is that black part right there and then it'll parent it to the workspace and then it'll um what's it called it'll set its position to drop like like literally where this part is right now it's gonna drop from there and then go down the conveyor and then yeah so that's your that's your tycoon i mean not your tycoon that's your dropper and parts that go along with it so you can just drag this over into server storage if you haven't already or hold on oh i selected it by accident hold on uh where is it right, right there drop this over into server storage and then next thing next thing we have our collector which is like it Delete it not deletes destroys the part and then gives the player money right so script parent dot touched as long as it equals parts you guys can classify this like into more detail if you don't know how to do that and stuff like if you want to just confirm it's not a player named parts or something like that you can just act in the comments or join the discord and I'm happy to explain that to you but just for the the sim the sim just to make it as simple as possible for the video I just did if it the name equals parts because that's that's like what the name is here make sure the name matches like whatever like name you have for the parts right and then it gets the name of the tycoon the display name the specific tycoon then it does a 4iv in pairs loop getting all the players and then if the player's name matches the tycoon the tycoon's name then it'll add plus five cash you guys can change that completely up to you then we're going to do hit destroy which destroys the part after awarding the not awarding giving the player uh their money and stuff so then well literally that's it you guys finish your collector also you could add a particle emitter completely up to you guys i did it just so like it looks nice you can see the little red and stuff yeah completely up to y'all though i just did it just so it looks nice and stuff right and then yeah we're, li we're literally almost done guys and then this is i'm pretty sure yeah this is the second to last thing yeah about no no like third last okay we have our conveyor the conveyor is extremely simple right you have your conveyor. Also, make sure everything is anchored except for parts. Make sure every, literally everything should be anchored except for parts. Like your parts that drop out of the dropper. Everything else should be anchored, right? But yeah, though. So you have your conveyor, right? And then you want to have your moving script, which like if something, if an object is on it, you want it to move in a certain direction, right? So we want to change the velocity to the C-frames look vector times 23. Make sure you put a weight 0.2. It'll move an object along like literally like a conveyor belt like all the way down to the uh, collector and then yeah I'll stay on here just for a second so you guys can just get that down and then yeah and then next thing next thing we're moving on is the leader stats and that's oh did not mean to zoom in the leader stats and data store you guys have seen my leader set I know you guys have seen this probably like if, if you have like watched my other videos you've seen this probably like seven different times but yes we here we have our cash data store we uh where we have or like if a player already has cash data it'll load the data and when they leave it'll save their data and yeah so just you could just do it like this and yeah so here's how you here's how we save our data and stuff and then here well no here's how we load our data if the player has data and here's how we save it down here so yeah you guys could just get that down and this is our leader stat script and yeah and then and then lastly what we, and then lastly what we have here is our dropper one spawner right you want to make sure you put another like the part name make sure it's head make sure the part name is head and then you want to insert a humanoid and then like before you want to like before you want to um have it so that it's dropper well you call you call it whatever you want but i'm gonna call it dropper one and then in parentheses put free so people know like it's just free like it's the starter thing you start with and then inside of the head you want to put dropper one spawner script and then you want to get the dropper one you want to make a variable make sure it's out of the uh touched function you want to uh get it from search storage then you want to clone it as long as the person who's touching it name matches to that of the person who owns the tycoon you want to clone it put in the workspace and then disable the script and then destroy this and then destroy the dropper so well you don't need well you don't need this number. well you don't you don't need this in i, I did this guy was trying to test some, i was trying to figure out why something wasn't working and stuff but i figured out what the issue was so yeah so then it'll destroy this and then it'll spawn a, a dropper and then your money will start flowing in and then lastly um i, I just made my team so it's not really something to explain uh if you don't have teams like if you don't view if you can't see teams on here go to view go into where is it where is it command bar then do game get service teams 
click enter and then it'll appear for you if you don't see teams and stuff yeah but yeah though and then just insert your two teams i have a default team called no tycoon team and yeah that's literally it and see i feel like this was much better to do with you guys because this video is 10 minutes opposed to like a two to three video long series or like a 30 minute video and stuff going through it with y'all i feel like this was much easier trying to explain it and stuff so yeah so now if we click play we'll go we'll fully go through everything we go in and stuff right and then you can use print debugging i like to i love to use print debugging actually and it prints if your data was loaded it prints if it was saved this is how you can test to make sure like your like people's data is actually being saved but yeah though um so we'll claim it claim here spy g19's tycoon right and then we'll claim the dropper one because it's free and it won't claim for some reason oh wait, wait, wait no, no 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 i know i know i know i hold on, hold on okay 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 I take back what I take back what I said. I take back what I said. I remember now. I remember. I was gonna do this originally for the video, but then I remembered why. Why like it would be too complicated. Okay, go back to the claim script under the tycoon sign and remove this tycoon part because remember it's trying to it's trying to get the name and remember because remember it's trying to get the name for um whatever the sign is and stuff. So obviously if the sign matches, so if the sign pretty much if the sign name matches Spider Nineteen's tycoon. And then I try to like claim something. My name is only Spartan 19, so obviously it doesn't match. You could just really change the name of the sign. Well, no, eh, it's complicated. But anyway, though, just move that, and then you're good. So we'll claim it, right? Boom. There's our dropper. And then every I have it set to every two seconds and stuff. Completely, y'all can change that if y'all want. As you can see, I'm it's moving up by five. Like getting five cash, fifty-five and sixty, and then it disappears and stuff. And yeah. As you guys can see, we have ourselves a working functioning tycoon. And then just to, as you can see, we have 80 cash. And then that pause is so that it saves the data. We can load back in and it'll say data loaded right there. And boom, we have 80 cash. And then we're all set on the night. No tycoon team. But yeah, that's how you make a basic tycoon. I know there are probably people who like once, like have specific questions for like their tycoon and stuff. Just leave, just uh, join the discord and ask all the questions you want. And I got y'all and stuff. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and stuff. If I didn't explain anything or you need clarification, questions, literally just leave it in the comment section, join the Discord, ask, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then I got y'all and stuff. As always, I will have the script in the description, but damn, because it's a lot. It's a lot of scripts. Yeah, no. It'd be a, you don't understand. It'd be a, well, it, well, total, it's like, yeah it's like six yeah, it's like six scripts total it's, it's literally six scripts total but of course uh, of course i got it. i got y'all though i got y'all i'm gonna leave all scripts in the description you can just reference them copy paste doesn't matter whatever you guys preferences like i said join the discord roblox group link is in the description and stuff appreciate you guys for all the support we're at 180 we're at 182 i believe let's just, we, we on uh we on a road to 200 y'all feel what i'm saying so yeah i appreciate you guys for being here don't forget to drop a like if this video was helpful subscribe and stuff, and yeah, I'll see y'all.